Good morning, my name is Erica Stewart. I'm a third generation rancher from Moore, Saskatchewan and welcome back to our video series, Life on Pine Ranch. So today I'm here at our water trough that we've newly installed and just showing you guys a little bit about the process of installing a water trough. Hey everybody, today we are setting up our new winter watering system. It is a solar system that we're putting in where we, where the cows winter. Uh, so previously, we, so that's the water trough. So previously we would just chop water at a spring and we're trying to avoid that uh, because the water troughs will give the cows better, better water quality and then they're not, say, pooping in that same area and wrecking that spring. So we've developed this spring and got it tested, which is really cool because it's really low in uh, total dissolved solids and sulfate. So it's great quality water. It's almost as good as um, human consumption water. So we got the trough. So that's what the cows are gonna drink out of. And this, what they're moving over with the tractor right now is all the batteries and the solar panel to run it. How do cows drink their water, Hazel? From there? Yeah, and what noise are they gonna make? Can you do it? We did put this water trough in so it doesn't freeze and we don't have to chop water but we still come and check it every day to make sure it isn't frozen and um, like I'll show you the main tank doesn't freeze but sometimes like the drink holes where the cows can drink freeze so we got to take ice off them. And here is our new water trough all set up and ready to water cows. So that's the solar panel. Hopefully it'll keep it from freezing during the cold winter months. And then they call that these the drink tubes. So there we have three for the 200 cows that are in this wintering field. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned something about installing a water trough and why as ranchers we think that's important and um, make sure our cows always have good water and also protecting our natural water resources. Thanks and hopefully you tune in again.